blessed day everyone i'm marisa villegas once again here to share god's word in ephesians chapter 2 but first of all let us pray muna dear lord god and heavenly father as i share my devotion today please illumine our hearts and minds to listen carefully your message for us today in jesus name amen are you struggling with pride but ano ba yung pride it is self-importance and self-focus which leads to selfishness pride and selfishness always go together that is pride produces selfishness all selfishness is a manifestation of pride thinking you are better or more important than others thus the root of all evil remember lucifer because of pride he was banished from living in heaven and was thrown to earth thus says the word of god who to us inhabitants of the earth because satan has been thrown to earth and of course he continues to kill steal and destroy even now you know what our culture tells us that believing in ourselves being independent and getting what we want out of life are great values but these are worldly ideas mga kapatid, and we need to realize the short-sightedness in them as disciples of the lord jesus christ we need to do the opposite we live in a world that applauds people believing in themselves relying on themselves so what's wrong with them wala naman talaga di ba Bisa jesus turns the values of the world upside down and his kingdom in this world we are clamoring for attention look at me look at me what i can do for you what we can do we are drowning in a culture of celebrity i'm not saying natural talents are bad but if we place way too much emphasis on waiting to be like someone who is popular successful and unique then that's where it becomes wrong but i want us to be clear on this everyone is unique mga kapatid. i am unique you are unique we are susceptible to peer pressure and the influence of the crowd we want of course to be liked recognized and there is nothing wrong with that except that when it challenges the biblical principles and kingdom values jesus taught us in the bible because we are so focused on ourselves on oneself we forget sometimes to acknowledge that we need other people especially christians we are so focused on the world of i in verse 2 to 4 the specifics of all exhortation to the philippians regarding love and humility among believers sabi dito fulfill my joy for being like-minded having the same love being in one accord of one mind let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself and each will look out not only for his own interest but also for the interests of others we have to bear in mind mga kapatid, that as disciples of the lord jesus christ it is not about us we are servants of god we are supposed to serve others and put them before us we shouldn't be like the center stage we shouldn't be the center stage but jesus is no we only want to please jesus in philippians 2 6 to 8 who being in the very nature of god did not consider equally equality with god something to be used to his own advantage rather he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made human likeness and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death even death on a cross jesus himself is our greatest example he emptied himself in the form of a man servant that merely the form of a man jesus had to leave heavenly glory but to be in the appearance as a man in order to be obedient and obedience for him is equal to the endurance of suffering in order for us men to be reconciled to the father even the death through the cross shows that there is no limit mga kapatid, to what will god do to demonstrate his love para sa ating mga tao na mahal-mahal niya thank you very much for watching and i hope and pray 
that truly you are blessed. Maraming salamat po. God bless you all. Which you